Lullabyzing begins. We're about to leave the stresses of the city behind. We're going uh, fishing. Or so, yeah. start up things he can fish. So he wants to fish. I'm just gonna bring my bag in and potatoes. Yeah, you got you got a milk crate full of food. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so right now we're heading out uh, out of the city on a Friday night. Um, just like a one night quick camping and just to try to do some fishing as well. Uh, so getting out of the city on Friday night is proving to be moderately stressful. But um, we're also trying to choose which campsite to go to. Uh, the original plan was to go to uh, Sasquatch uh, Provincial Park. Um, and that's like a two hour drive. Um, but we probably won't get there until it's dark out. Uh, so that's pretty much going to put the kibosh in any uh, fishing for this evening. Um, and it's also going to take us longer to get home tomorrow, which will give us less time to fish in the morning or do other things. Um, so anyways, there's a place that's closer. It's called uh, Raleigh Lake, um, and it's about an hour away. We're getting pretty close actually right now. Um, so there's a lake there, and uh, I think it'll work okay for us. So we're going to try that first um, and just see what it looks like. I'd say max another 15 minutes. Okay. Oh, uh, I love the colors on this thing, dude. The blue sky with my orange vest. Yeah, looks good. You look like a rock star, that's for sure. Alright, so um, these guys are like little nuggets. So I'll put this on for you and we'll just show you how it goes. Like you can probably imagine. So we got these uh, power bait. Um, they're scented like fish. Yeah, that's what they probably put in my uh, soup, seaweed soup. I eat some of these guys? Something like that. Thank you. We just saw this dude like half an hour ago, like running like a maniac. <laughs> I guess he ran around the whole lake and came back. We haven't been here that long, have we? Well, he's fast anyways, I'll give him that. Yeah, camping's fun. So what did you think, what did you think about the fishing? That's exactly what I was expecting actually. I mean, I was still hoping for better, but I knew we wouldn't catch anything. Yeah. Um, and I, could, I can appreciate why, or I can, I can appreciate the people that do fish and they catch shit and they're like, woohoo, you know, and I caught this shit this big. So oh. I can see it's a lot harder than you would think. Yep. Same like hunting too. Like you would think you could just pick up a rifle and shoot a deer. I guarantee you, you give a rifle to a hundred people, you know, like maybe one in a hundred would be able to do something with it. Yeah. And I'm saying it's like, oh. you have to scope it and range it and all that shit. Like you, you have to do that. Not like you know, perfectly set up for you. Like, just here's the rifle, here's the ammunition, here's the scope, go hunt with it. And you don't know anything about anything else, it's like maybe one in a hundred can actually make it work. <clears throat> I think fishing must be easier than hunting, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's the same thing, it's like it's, it's the learning curve. I had a hard day today at the military base at work. The military base. Yeah, those aircrafts don't clean themselves, you know what I'm saying? You have to power <laughs> watch them and scrub them and shit. Yeah, right. I worked from home today, so that was nice. Oh, no. 
So the Pentagon lets you work from home? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Your knife sucks. Yeah, the knife is crap. <laughs> that two hundred dollar SC is a piece of chisel. Why don't you use your benchmate? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> the benchmate did survive the batoning actually, but uh, I wouldn't do that again. Um, oh yeah. No more batoning with folding knives. No. Oh. I'm making it official right now. We had ignition, we should be able to keep it with a bunch of dry wood. I suspect the wood is somewhat wet, even though it felt dry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's pretty humid out now. Right? Getting cold. Yeah. Okay, good blow. Blow. <laughs> Did the blowing. This feels like that time when I went to Keats Island and uh, fucking like, uh -oh. nothing would burn. No, it's officially out. There's nothing left. Start up fire making. What? Start up fire making. Okay. Nice work. <laughs> nice. Just gonna move it fast. <laughs> that's how we do it in Romania. Like, not as much as Russian, but the Romania. When I was uh, interviewing for my current job, my boss goes like, Oh yeah, we hired a lot of the Eastern Europeans, you know, the Russians, Romanians, whatever. <laughs> and he goes like, uh, That generation, which is the world, this current, this generation right now, is this generation, but that generation from that countries were a generation where people actually did this shit with their hands. Mm -hmm. They fix things, they work with their hands, and uh, that can be anywhere from farming to industry to even like specialized jobs. Like there were no computers, the computers were manual in my mom's time. So the short story is like, yeah, I hire people because they know what they're doing in the real physical world. Um, the generation here, it's like, it's all about emails and phones and all this shit. So they know what they do in the real world. Makes sense. That's why they want our people to be uh or they they oh, they don't like it. Fur? But they're like that, that works for us. Okay. Am I gonna be doing this all night? It's not going as nearly as uh, it normally does. Well, it's not like August, September, October, where there's the risk of wildfire. It's like June. Is it April? It's April. It's not even June. It's springtime. I'm not surprised. It's always still. Like... 